So we, we are going to look at analysis of frame using moment distribution method. And for today's example, we're going to look at this paper, October, November, 2014. So the question is asking, analyze the frame shown in figure two using moment distribution method and hand sketch the bending moment diagram. Look at this question. AB is a cantilever of 10 to meters. The moment of inertia is I. BC is 2I, 3 meters, and has a UDL of 10 kilometers per meter. BD has no loading, but has a moment of inertia of I. And uh, length of BD is basically 3 meters. So I've already calculated the question, so I'll go uh, step by step into explaining how I've arrived at the answer. So here's the solution. For end BA, uh, I've already said it's a cantilever, so we can get the the hogging moment here directly. Uh, the sign convention that I've adopted is anti-clockwise moments are positive, clockwise moments are negative. So this 20 kN is causing a clockwise moment, uh, or oh, sorry, uh, an anti-clockwise moment is causing a rotation in this direction. So that is 20 times 2, you get positive 40 kN. So if you come to end the BC, we, can, we have two fixed end moments. The same convention I've adopted again is the clockwise moment are negative and clockwise moments are positive. I'm assuming that um, BC is, an, is clockwise like that, and this one is anti clockwise. Like that. So for BC to tend to be negative, there be a squared over 12. So our length. Our UDL is 10, our length is 3, and of course, the formula is 12. So if you work out this, you get negative 7.5 kN meter. So for CB, it's the moment CB, uh, it will be now be positive 7.5 because it's anti clockwise. So these are the only two loadings that we have. There is no loading between. You remember BD, so the fixed and moment calculation is there. The next stage is now calculation of the distribution of factors. And before we continue, and AB is a cantilever, so the distribution factor is equal to zero. Okay, so now we <clears throat> when you are calculating the distribution factors, you prepare such a table where you have the joint, the members, the relative stiffness. Represented by k, then the summation of k, then k over summation of k, which is now the distribution factor. So you only have one joint, joint B. So for this number BD, um, the moment of inertia is I, uh, BC to I. So <clears throat> when you're calculating this, uh, when the far end is fixed, when the far end is fixed, you use 4EI over L. 4EI over L. When the far end is spin, you use 3EI over L. So in our case, both ends are uh, fixed. So we are going to use 4EI over L. If you substitute the values here, remember for BC, the value of moment of inertia is 2I. So if you substitute the value 2I, yeah, you get 8 over 3I. And here it's just I, you get 4 over 3I. So if you add the 2, you get I. So now if you get k over summation of k, for member BC, you get 2 over 3, and for member BD, it's that. So member BC, obviously, is stiffer than I, uh, than, sorry, than member BD, which has only I. The next stage is now doing the actual distribution. So you prepare such a table where, when you have, where you have the joint, the member, the distribution factor, at the moment. So the members are D, the joints are D, B, and C. The members are DB, BD, BA, and BC. Now, for member DB, DB here, yeah, there's no loading. So the fixed end moment will be zero. Okay. For member, so <clears throat> the actual the actual distribution is going to take place here where there is loading. So for member BD, 
pe this term pakai ikatan form BA number BA is a country value for BT0 uh, this one is two that for BC this is a we have already calculated it here BC two that and um, CB is fixed also fixed pen you don't do any distribution there so it, the distribution factor is zero so when it comes to fixed and moment this one is zero you say there's no loading here uh, again BD is zero BD and DD is zero because there's no loading so BA we have already calculated is 40 the holding moment the one the one you calculated here 40 for BC is negative 7.5 we calculated here that is 7.5 for CB is positive 7.5 now the out of balance moment here is 40 40 is uh, 40 minus 7.5 now this is the out of balance moment and this is what you are going to distribute so if you do a calculation there 40 minus uh, 40 minus 10.5 you get positive 32.5 so this is now the out of balance moment so the balancing moment will be negative and it's going to be distributed according to this distribution factor so the first one will be a third multiplied by now the balancing moment will be negative that two uh, sorry about that so this is basically 32 32.5 so if you get that you get negative 10.83 again if you do two or three multiplied by negative 32.5 you'll get negative 21.6 another thing you do is to do, now we carry over so half of this comes to this joint and half of this comes to this joint all right so we are we, we are not going to do any distribution here so this is a cantilever so this will get the the, the hopping moment directly directly which is 40. So if you do the half of that, it's negative four point negative five point four one seven, and half of this is negative ten point eight three. So since there is no other out of balance moment, our distribution ends there. So to get the final moment, now you do the addition there. So this one will be negative five point four seven. Here again, it will be negative ten point eight three. So it will be positive forty. Uh, these two, if you add them you get negative 29.17 and if you add these two you get negative 3.33 all right now the next question was asking you to sketch the bending moment diagram so sketching the bending moment diagram is rather easy those are just famous once you get the, your moment correct so this is how the bending moment diagram looks like at end zero while at end a where we have a cantilever obviously the moment is zero and it is maximum at the support where you have 40 kilometers then again for joint bd or rather for member bd you have at the far end joint d this one here you have 5.17 then you have 10.83 here then um, at c uh bc at joint b now we have negative 29.17 then at mc we have 3.33 so this is just how you do now uh, in the next question i'm going to do uh another frame uh, with a similar loading